dear students and friends welcome back to my session on plc in 21 days today is day 3 in today's session we will see about simple ladder program with simulation use of internal relay latching the ladder timer okay these things we will see okay uh, in the last yesterday's session i think uh, i did not explain much about uh, what is m what is uh, uh, timer and uh, so on and so forth now we will see about all these things and one more important thing in today's session is uh, i will not be using and showing the plc board okay without plc board everything can be tested and seen in the uh, gx developer simulation itself so there is no need for us to connect a separate uh, uh, plc board and to test it right everything can be done inside the jx developer okay let me close this one let me open uh, my jx developer everything is fresh and live okay so we'll speed up the work we'll speed up the work simple ladder program with simulation okay now i will be opening a new file fxcpu fx1nc ladder program so this is the left side a ladder this is the left right side ladder so everything is uh, perfect now we are ready for writing a program first we will see about exercise 1 this is the first exercise actually as far as the PLC is concerned. Simple input and output. Okay, I will I will take the screenshots, I'll uh, put it here, okay, and I'll try my level best to add those things uh, in the YouTube uh, under the description itself uh, as a link. If you click the link, you can download it shift insert if you type you can introduce a line you can introduce a line okay now f5 is a normally open so normally open x0 x0 is the input if the x0 is on this is the output this is the output okay y0 y0 so if x0 is on x0 is input y0 is output Okay, I already told you in the previous class, previous session. So, 14 MR PLC has got 8 inputs, 6 outputs. Okay, so here to test it, before that you compile it, compile F4. So, it is everything is good. So I will introduce some error then you will see if they now if I compile it will show some error it will show some error the ladder which cannot be converted because it has some error so I have to delete this one I have to delete this one then you compile it press F4 I am pressing F4 now I am not using this menu so convert is command uh, the command for the convert is F4 so everything is perfect now see carefully this is the button start or end ladder logic test it is the simulation available inside the GX developer so you need to check and see the how see how the program is running generally you require you have to uh, connect the you, you should have the PLC board you have to fuse this program onto the PLC there you can physically see and witness how the program works but uh, through the simulation uh, those things are not required actually everything can be seen in the simulation itself okay i'll show you now start ladder logic it takes some time it will take some time it is emulator internally uh, it runs the program so it is uh, it is as if like writing a plc coding onto the board 
now after this complete after this is over now you see the color of the cursor it changed to dark blue in color now click it on to the x0 right click go for device test go for device test okay now repeat this is the button for starting the simulation ladder logic after that you are inside the simulation now okay so this is the simulation this is the simulation then right click device test or alt f1 alt f1 x0 you force on now it is off better let me keep somewhere alt 1 now x0 okay x0 if i press force on this will be blue in color if it is blue in color that means it is on if this is on automatically y0 is on you see what happens this is on also this is on so that's why i said you need not have a separate uh, board physical board is not required from the simulation itself you can understand now let me switch off this one. the moment i switch off this one this will be off this will be off again i repeat switch on x0 if this is on as long as x0 is on on those occasions only y0 is on the moment i switch off x0 this one is off okay the next uh, you may have a question in your mind uh, if we can we test y0 in the device test it is not possible i think because this is the output that cannot be switched on y0 cannot be switched on only the x0 can be switched inputs so you, you can give only the inputs you can give command to the inputs not to the output output uh, should be derived from the the instruction that you have entered inside the ladder logic okay so this is how the program runs so this is the first program of course let me end the ladder logic ladder logic is end but still the command take some time of course over now even i could say this is the cursor or command uh, this is the cursor i could say it is still dark blue in color if it is dark blue in color it is in read mode so you cannot type you can just read you cannot do any writing you cannot do any editing so convert change from to editing mode okay so simple input output is over then exercise 2 is one and the same but uh, with uh, latching with latch so let me introduce the same in this uh, file itself what is latching shift insert adding one more line okay i am uh, normally open command i'll be using the y0 again i am using and i am connecting a yeah, vertical line with that okay f4 compile everything is good so if you do this way this is called a program the ladder is with latch meaning i'll explain now previously it was not there now it is there what is the difference between without latching and with latching now tell you without latching means as long as x0 is on on those occasion only y0 is on but now i introduce a latch here now see what happens now i switched on this x0 since x0 is on y0 is on since y0 is on this y0 is, is on again meaning so this will be on always permanently even though x0 is off in a fraction of second alone if x0 is on because of the latch the y0 will be permanently on permanently on that is the beauty of this latching program
I could say we could say this as a latching or this is a R circuit also. R logic and R logic we have seen, you know, this is something like R logic. But in the R logic, if R, the difference between R logic and the latching is in R logic, this is x0 and this is x1 maybe. If we use the same uh, notation that we have used in the output, you know, same notation if you use it here, then that R logic can be called as latching, can be called as latching. Shall we do the device test? Yes, we will do the device test. It will take some time. So previously, now ALT1 is the device test, X0, the moment the X0 is on, now it is off, the moment the X0 is on, X0 is on, Y0 is on, since this Y0 is on, this Y0 is on, this Y0 is, this Y0 is, this y zero is since the Y0 is, this Y0 is on, this will keep this Y0 always on. Now see what I am saying. Now I am switching off X0. Now x0 is off, but you see the y0 is still on. That is the property of latching. If the latching is not there, the moment you switch it off this uh, the x0, this will be off. Since it is with latch, it will be permanently on. It can never be switched off actually. Okay. For that, you have to do something. Uh, some more uh, ingredients you have to add. Okay. I tell you later. Okay, even uh, there is no effect, even if it is on or off, it is permanently on. Permanently on. Let me exit the ladder logic test. Then go to read mode. Okay, so this is it. Then uh, I said uh, how to use the internal uh, relay or auxiliary relay. Auxiliary relay. The notation for it is kept M. Okay, uh, nearly there are uh, hundreds of M's actually. I will give you the chart uh, after some time. Okay, so you can consider this as the third axis. With internal relay. See generally the experienced people, I get uh, these inputs only from the, the persons who are uh, uh, expertise in this particular field. Okay, These things are not available in the, in the textbooks of course. They, they normally keep a separate uh, statement for the physical outputs. Y is a physical output, the M is an internal output, internal output, okay. So what I can do is the same program, control insert, shifting one more, adding one more line. Instead of Y0, let me put M0, M0, I will be now you can type uh, F5 or you can type uh, 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 this one and you can type uh, M0 or otherwise space uh, LD that is a direct thing M0 then space out means output Y0. So absolutely there is no uh, result wise operational wise absolutely there is no difference between this program with the previous one in the previous one we did not have this line we had y in place of m0 i introduced m0 uh, this is better way of uh, writing a program this is better way of writing a program okay uh, even here i'll i'll add one more ingredient 
adding a statement sorry introduce a new line adding a statement output actuation f4 compilation so all the instructions will be carried out here the output actuation i will be writing separately of course in the single file itself okay so this is again i repeat previously we did not use the latching x0 as long as x0 is on m0 will be on if x0 is off m0 will be off or y0 will be off if we put this way our circuit the same notation here then it becomes latch the once x0 is on after that even if it is on or off whatever the condition this y0 or m0 will be on okay shall we will see the later logic test alt f1 device test x0 force on if x0 is on m0 is on m0 is under latch so m0 is on permanently so since the m0 is on y0 is on now i will switch off the x0 even though x0 is off now since the m0 this line is under latch this is it is on permanently this is on permanently let me end the ladder logic test go to write mode now here i'll be introducing normally closed contact normally closed contact you see what happens you see what happens x0 is on and x1 should not be uh, uh, should should not be on of course okay then only m0 is on if m0 is on m0 is under latch m0 is on permanently since m0 is on o0 is on we'll go for ladder logic test Okay, now you see it is a uh, actually this is inversion of uh, normally open. This is normally open. This is normally closed. Now it is closed. That is why it is blue in color. Alt F1 device test X0 force on. The moment is on. M0 is on. M0 is latched. Even if I switch off M0, uh, this will be always on because it is latched. Now let me see. Show you X1. I now I am putting X1 now here. now it is force on and it is off now you see this is how you can cut if you use the normally closed contact uh, terminal then only you can break the circuit you can switch off the circuit so this is the another one so here i'll exit this one so in the same exercise maybe this is exercise number 4 with one uh, nc contact exercise 4 is with nc contact you have tested Okay, so now in this session, one, two, three, four, simple, simple exercise we have done. Okay, so go to write mode. Then what is uh, missing? Latch with uh, latching ladder. Also, we have seen auxiliary M. We have introduced. Now let us see about the timer. The timer. Okay, I have a text here. So you have a hundred millisecond timer. 
T0 to T199 T0 to T199 now this is going to be the fifth x fifth exercise with the timer exercise number 5 So timer T is the symbol the symbol for timer for this along with the T you should have use you should have a constant K also you should use it you should, okay I'll straight away type it I'll show you Now, uh, in place of T, I'll put T zero. Okay. Now, the M zero is latched. Then M zero normally open. M zero is on. In the output, instead of using M or Y, I'll be using T zero. The T zero will be on for maybe two seconds. 20 100 milliseconds meaning 2 seconds ok so k1 means 100 millisecond 0.1 second k1 means 0.1 second k10 k2 means 0.2 seconds k10 means 1 seconds now I put k20 ok now the logic here is the moment x0 is on t is not at uh, completed ok so it is an nc m0 is on m0 is slash m0 is permanently on the moment m0 is on this timer t0 start clicking okay it starts clicking once it reached 20 that is uh, 20 100 milliseconds then this t0 is on this once the t0 is on that will break m0 so the result is the m0 is on only for two seconds after that it will be off so why is that means M0 is connected with Y0, Y0 will be on for 2 seconds, after that it will be off. Shall we see that? Now go for device test. Okay, Alt 1 device test X0 I, I fraction of second I will be on and I will be switching off then simultaneously you see that now time T0 you see that a yeah, number is made already so number is 0 once it reaches 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 20 when it reaches 20 this becomes uh, on if it is on this will cut M0 the M0 is cut Y0 is cut until then M0 is on and Y0 is on now you see that force on force off you see it starts counting see till 20 it is on uh, let me increase the value so then it will be easy for you to understand I will make it 5 seconds 50 again I repeat T is the symbol for timer a timer is basically a 100 millisecond timer you can have nearly 200 timers T0 to T199 ok it is really wonderful even uh, this kind of thing is not available in uh, Arduino right so timer limit uh, you have to put for the limit you should use the constant K ok so 50 means 5 seconds let me go for ladder test alt 1 device test x0 I just force on immediately I will force off 
one microsecond is sufficient now you see it starts counting till it reaches 50 it is on once it has reached 50 it becomes off again i repeat so till it reaches 50 it will be on once it reached 50 it is off okay so uh, actually we are in the third day today only we are we are we, we are seeing the ladder programming okay even in this uh, from that point of view i could say from the ladder point of view, point of view ladder logic programming point of view it is the first day even this first day we have seen five different exercises five different exercises simple input and output here let me summarize we used only x and y we used x and y here we use x and y in two occasions for latching here we used x y sorry, before y we used m then y m twice of course here we used x0 x1 m0 y0 here we used x0 t0 m0 k 50 this 50 is not a it is a value actually these are all variable x0 is a variable t0 is a variable m0 is a variable but k after k the 50 50 is a number actually okay i will i'll check it so x0 t0 m0 t0 k y so yes y y0 okay so this is sufficient i'll i'll copy this uh, diagram uh, maybe I'll, I'll screen capture it actually let me screen capture uh, this one i'll put it here the single file itself is sufficient right uh, here th this is the button for compilation of course so uh, it, it, this has actually five different programs five different programs okay so for today's session I, I feel this is sufficient okay tomorrow we'll see something more on this plc okay thank you bye